Hello everyone, I'm Augusta Myers. I am here today with Ricky Garcia, and I want to make sure I get your title right. You are the Social Media and Digital Content Specialist for the City of Albuquerque. Correct. And it only makes sense that, that you are because you're also a college student, correct? Right? Yes. And it seems like college students know more about what's going on than the rest of us. So, right. <laughs> well, yes. Yes and no, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to just say, yes, we do know everything. But right. You know, we grow up in the social media age, so it's easier for us and it comes more natural, I guess. Exactly, yeah. For us, we have to think. It's, it takes a couple more steps to think about <laughs> going to our phone and where to go. But actually, you, in a nutshell, you manage the website for the city that lets everybody know what to do, and it's called abqtodo.com. Yes. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing this for two years, wow. and I wasn't the content manager at first. I came on as a social media content manager, where I did all the social media, mm -hmm. um, meet another intern, and you know, through the year, we kind of saw a shift in manager positions, and I became the content manager That's and awesome. the social media manager to update the website. Do you love it? I love it, yes. <laughs> it's a great job. And, and you probably know everything that's going on around Albuquerque. Right. You know, in our conversation before we, um, you know, before we went on the air, I, I was talking to you about how a lot of times as Albuquerqueans, we get so isolated in what we do. We do the same things. We, go to the, we shop at the same places. We, we look at the same sources for our information that we often don't know a lot of the cool things that are going on in Albuquerque. And so this website is really directed at um, certainly for anybody visiting Albuquerque but and outside of the Duke City, but also really for the people who live right here. Yeah. Um, before working here, I always said, you know, there's nothing to do in Albuquerque. <laughs> right. There's nothing to do. But as I worked here, I realized there's tons of things and there's <laughs> always things happening here. And that's our goal is to appeal not only to the residents living here, but to the visitors as well. Um, we're sure. a free online website. It's free to submit events. Um, whether you're an organization or an oh, individual. Really? Okay. Yes, and we also have feeds that pull from some other calendars to make up our big calendar of events. And we focus on cultural, arts, sports, anything you could think of. We have all the categories on ABQ to do. Wow, that's awesome. And so many people come to Albuquerque for those things, especially the culture. And so it must be fun for you to be able to be sort of the vehicle to get it out there and promote it. Yes, exactly. It's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know pretty much all the events. Yeah. That's... I, you're probably the only. You're probably the person in the city who has the most knowledge of what's going on or what's coming up that's really cool. And I know we talked about this because we have a whole list of things. Yep. And again, it's abqtodo.com, and there's a new campaign that you guys have launched. Find more to do. Yeah. And that's what this is all about, right? Our name kind of looks like Todo. ABQ all right, Todo. Right. All in common. Yes. <laughs> which kind of fits as well. But ABQ to do is kind of like what we say right. it's easier. Um, well, we have launched this new campaign, Find More To Do, because you need right. something to do, you find more to do at abqtodo.com. And we're kind of launching this on social media, using it in our hashtags. Um, we're available on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Cool. So you can find us on there. We do updates of different events that are happening, live tweeting, live Facebooking. Um, it's all there. Yes. <laughs> That's great. And, and I'm sure you look at the analytics, who's visiting, who's uh, looking at the website, and are you getting gaining more ground with people actually visiting? We are, yes. Um, before, we used to be on an older system, and as of September 2016, we updated to WordPress, oh, cool. which is easier. We're available on mobile. It's a lot easier to look at. We have blogs. We have all the events. Wow. And we're just so much easier to find now. It's all about new... WordPress these days, isn't it? That's what <laughs> yes. I hear anyway. So under the umbrella of finding more to do, we've got, um, it, it's hard to believe, it seems like January 1 was yesterday, but here we are, a fast approaching spring and the end of winter, which means spring break. Yay. And yeah, I know, <laughs> yay. So there's a lot going on um, just at the Albuquerque Museum over spring break. Right. Well, every Saturday they have the art in the afternoon, which goes from 2 to 5. It's free music. Um, we oh, have wow. a lot of local bands that come. There will be food available and free admission to the museum. And that happens every Saturday. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Wow, every Saturday. That's right. cool. 2 to 5, live music, food. 
uh, and free admission. Yeah. And they've got a new exhibition going on right now. They do. Now, this one is the Hollywood Southwest New Mexico in film and television. And residents, visitors, will get the chance to see kind of the film industry in New Mexico. How it's evolved. Yes, the yeah. behind the scenes look at some of the movie sets. Um, they also have some movie clips, movie posters. Um, and also, this will be a cool little add-on. They'll have the green screen experience oh, for cool. kids to experience what it's like to be on an actual set. Right, so basically they get in front of a screen and then they'll have movie scenes and different things going on behind them that'll actually make them look like they're in that scene. Right, yeah. Oh, that's a lot I of haven't fun. seen the exhibit yet. It opens February 25th and goes in through um, August 27th. Oh, cool. But it also will have, sorry, I'm looking no, at my notes We've here. got a lot to talk about, yeah. so feel free There's to look at There's a wide range <laughs> of events that will also correspond with this. Um, I know that the trolley of New Mexico mm -hmm. or the Albuquerque trolley will actually give a ride to a lot of the destinations oh, of nice. the film sets here in Albuquerque. So people can really take it beyond just the museum. They can visit the museum and, and then learn about where those sites are and then actually take the trolley tour. Those guys right. are great, Mike and Jesse. They'll, they work that trolley so they um, really stay current and they bring people to the most exciting places. And I think that just New Mexico's presence in the film industry, we finally have like a history in it now mm -hmm. that we can look back on. And certainly, um, a lot of films are still being filmed here right now. Right, and, very popular. We see yeah. actors coming into Albuquerque, or New Mexico right. at large, um, coming in all the time. I share them on social media. I'm like, oh, look at who just came. Liam Hensworth was here, Yeah, apparently, so yeah. He, they were just talking, it was, I think it was Entertainment Tonight, where there was some show that he was just on, he was talking about being here in the yes, desert southwest. Yes, I just saw that. You saw it too, yeah. <laughs> With a basketball shot or something, yeah. yes. Yeah, that was, very, that was very cool. And then, again, you can find all that out on abqtodo.com. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in addition to that, we also uh, have seen that there's the South Broadway Cultural Center is also doing something cool. And is that a spring break related thing as well? Yes, it's happening during the week of APS okay. spring break. And this is a, the sixth annual hip hop intensive class. And this will give ages 5 to 18 the opportunity oh, wow. to enjoy hip hop dancing at South Broadway Cultural Center. Now, admission is only $10. To wow. register, you can register by calling South Broadway, and it just gives people something to do for Ab spring break. Absolutely, but I, I, I guess I can't do it since I'm a little older than 18. <laughs> well, they also <laughs> have adult classes happening oh, really? around the same time as oh, well. Wow. Yeah, that sounds, so it gives a full range. That sounds really fun, and that's the sixth annual. I didn't even know about this, and it's already been going on for six years. So <laughs> right. lots of stuff to find out. And so if they go to the website, they can also find out how to register for something like that. Yes. $10, sometimes that's Sometimes it's deal. online, and then sometimes it's by phone. Sure. But um, South Broadway Tickets has the option to pay online. Oh, great. For $10, yeah. Perfect. And it's an 18-week class or 18? Oh, no. Oh, it's a, it's a week-long class. Yeah. for. Okay, that's really and a great deal. And it happens March 20th through the 24th, which is nice. the APS. Spring break. Yes. Perfect. And the Chemo Theater, they just... They are celebrating their 90th anniversary. Wow, yes. lots of history at the chemo. Kind right. of relates back to New Mexico in film. We've seen the chemo as a, a landmark icon now for years and years. Hard to believe it's 90. Yeah, 90 years old. Um, they've been entertaining audiences since 1927. Wow. It's a big, big anniversary for them. And along with their big anniversary, they have their regular scheduled um, films, shows that come back annually. Um, but along with that, we're also um, having signature monthly free events for people to discover. Um, the first one is in collaboration with Bookworks, and we're going to invite C.J. Box, the author of his latest book, Vicious Circle, oh, wow. to come talk about his book and kind of like cool. an open chat with the artist. And that'll be um, March 24th. And it's free. What a great from venue, to nine. too, to interact with the author and go down to the chemo and yeah. kind of check it out and learn more about the history of the chemo while they're right. there, too. And it's on the heels of the 90th anniversary of Route 66. So lots of historical stuff happening in Albuquerque, yes. but that chemo theater is really a gem, really a treasure for us here. And that free event is the 24th. Great. And what else is going on at the chemo? There's another event days later. Um, okay. March 26th, and this is a Chautauqua 
performance by Steve awesome. Cormer. Right. Okay. Chautauqua? Yeah, okay. I got that right. <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, this is music from the ranch and the open range, which oh. will showcase cowboy music and how it's evolved from okay. the open range. Um, I did get the chance to see him at the Albuquerque Folk Festival, and he was just so amazing, and the audience loved him. Really? Yes. So quite an entertainer. Yes, okay. and this will be, um, again, another free event um, on March 26th at the Gimo. Does he talk about, um, how, uh, in addition to how the open range, the music of the West evolved, does he also perform some Yes, he performs oh, yeah. songs, and he'll also tell stories about open range. Nice. Wow, that's free too. That's so cool. Showcasing how cowboy yeah. music evolved and I'm sure it has a lot to do with the Southwest. Great. We're very lucky to have him. Absolutely. What about, um, oh yeah, and then there's the live and local concerts. Tell us about that, Ricky. Yes. So Albuquerque Special Events, um, located in the Cultural Services Department, has started this event last the end of last year, mm -hmm. 2016, and it is just a free music event. Wow. If you're looking to hear some local bands, come to the Chemo Theater. It's a great venue to hear music. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing this one a little bit differently because okay. now food is available, and we're going to have oh. the Blazing Zia food truck right outside wow. and adult beverages from mm -hmm. Bosque Brewery okay. will be available as well. Wow, what would we do without food trucks? It's really given a whole new um, genre to, to entertainment in downtown <laughs> yes. Albu in Albuquerque in right. general. It's really fun. That is so cool because a lot of times people will say, oh, have you heard this local band or so-and-so just performed? And I always wonder, we have such great local music talent here. This is a perfect opportunity for them to be showcased in not only just a cool theater, but it's a free event. Yeah, and for this one, we're going to have um, Americana Indie Alternative. Oh, nice. Um, Lila Rose, okay. and then the mill, the real, sorry, the real Matt Jones band will be there as well. All right, the real Matt Jones band. The real, okay. yes. And that starts at what time? Um, that one will go from seven o'clock, and then it goes until eight thirty. Is we have um, the set starts at seven, ends around eight, gives the band about thirty minutes to change, and then. Start up with another one. Yes. Okay. And then the food trucks will be right outside, right outside during that time if people want to partake in getting some adult beverages or, <laughs> and or some food, right? Okay. Correct. And then what else is, what's going on? This is kind of one of those well-kept secrets, although uh, Albuquerque is known for its uh, ballooning culture. The Balloon Museum um, just really underwent a renovation or they added a new exhibit. They're adding things all the time, but yes. that is such a great place. What's going on at the Balloon Museum? Well, they have the 4D Theater that just opened, and then they That's also it. have the Arctic um, Weather Lab that they're working on. And they have Stories in the Sky is a weekly um, story time for kids oh, cool. um, that happens during the week, but on the weekends they have hosts. They host events, and this one is from the Shamrock Fest, and this is happening March 11th, and it's going from 11 to 6. Oh, so wow. if you love the color green <laughs> and <laughs> love Shamrocks, <laughs> love St. Patrick's Day, well, if you're Irish, right, or, or you just like Irish people, yeah, the Celtic <laughs> um, community, yeah, this is a great event for you. There'll be music, games, children's activities, oh, nice. a brew garden, um, a variety of vendors, a dog parade, and oh, a wow. dog adoption, which will be awesome. Cool. And tickets are available at the Balloon Museum website or ABQ to do as well. I think there's even um, a foot race, a run going on that weekend, possibly yes. as part of that. So lots to do, and right around, appropriately so, right around St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, and also uh, we've got lots of stuff also going on at our libraries throughout the community. Yes, Tell us about that, Ricky. There's 18 libraries in the Albuquerque, Bernalillo County area. Wow. And there's always something happening <laughs> at these libraries, whether it be a talk. Um, I just recently went to one the other day. There's a talk, there's workshops, story times, music and movement classes, yoga wow. classes. Sounds like a wide range of things yes. to pick from. So if you're looking for something to do during um, spring break, we have a short list of things on ABQ to do, but the, um, if you head on over to abqlibrary.org, there's a full list of each library and all their events as well. Wow, that's quite a network too, 18 libraries, who knew? Right. I mean, I know of the main one, but there's practically a library in every quadrant of the city, so exactly. no lack of things to do there, and I love the idea that they have authors giving talks and things like that, that's wonderful. Um, what about the behind the scenes series? What's that all about? Yes, this is something that the Biopark is doing, and this is such a cool series. I love this. I've never attended one, but I would like to. There's five scheduled for the month of, 
for the month of March, mm -hmm. um, and it gives you the behind-the-scenes oh, look wow. at what zookeepers do. Um, they will focus on one animal and give you a VIP tour of their food, um, their favorite toys, mm -hmm. how they treat the animal. You really get to know the animal, exactly. basically. Now, these do sell out fast, mm -hmm. so I'd recommend you head on over to the Biopark page or on ABQ to do. We also have the link to that as well. And um, it does require registration, and they do sell out quickly. And this is going on how many times, uh, once a week during the month of March, or just? They're kind of spread out. Spread out, yes. okay. So really, go visit ABQ to do and find <laughs> out when they are. That sounds like a lot of fun, and not just for kids. That one, I'm sure people, you know, Great we'll for all lots ages. of curiosity about yeah how animals live and hibernate and all and eat and all the different things they do and and our biopark we have an amazing biopark yes. there's always something cool going on there yeah and they just announced that they're going to have penguins I know when is that exhibit. happening I don't, I don't know it's coming it's gonna, soon it's gonna, yeah right. it's going to be a they little just wild. broke ground so it'll give right. us a while to kind of develop the whole sure and get the penguins here That's but we're great. excited for that. Penguins are such cool birds. <laughs> and what about, um, and I know the city has various special events that go on during the year that yes. maybe are not related to any specific entity, but they pop up at different events. Tell us, or different locations. Tell us about some of the special events. Yeah, the upcoming one, um, which is happening April 29th, so not so much in March, sure. but the next one is in April. We're accepting applications if you want to be a vendor for oh. food or in the market. Um, so this is the Renaissance Fair. Oh, wow. this is Perfect just, time of year for that. Yes, <laughs> as the temperatures yes. warm up. <laughs> yes, it'll be a great event. And this is the celebration of the Middle Ages. Yes. So the Renaissance era. Great costumes and jousting and yes. speaking in you know, English language, old medieval terms. Right. And, yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun. There'll be food, music, shopping. It's just a great event. Oh, yeah. And, and that's been going on a while, right? I mean, that's a yearly event. It just happens at different times, but usually during the spring. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure that annual... Yeah. But I've, I know yes. we've had Renaissance right. fairs before. Maybe they weren't always sponsored by the city. But again, food, music, shopping, everything Renaissance. Right. And that's happening on April 29th from 10 to 5, and tickets are available online for that. As well. And where is it? It's happening at the Balloon Museum. Oh, I'm sorry. okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Again, at the Balloon Museum. And the local band showcase, is that that's part of Live and Local, or is that something different? Um, this is something different. Okay. So this is the third annual Live and Local, or, I'm sorry, yeah. I get confused. So this is the third annual local band showcase, um, which will feature 15 bands. Oh, I remember this from last year. The weather was not great last year for it, I think, but I think they rescheduled it. Yes, we had it okay. on Friday. Go on, I'm sorry, yes. This is very cool. Um, so this one will be on a Saturday on Civic Plaza and it will feature 15 bands and it gives us the opportunity to listen to these bands so we can schedule these bands for various events. And so there is application and that's available on culturalabq.com. So if you know somebody who's in a band or if you are in a band, go ahead and apply for us. And what, what constitutes as a band? Does it have to be at least two people or... You know what I mean? Or is it is it a group of four, three or four musicians? Could it be just a duo? Yeah, or, we've had okay. um, solo acts before. Okay. I think what we're looking for is original music. Okay. Um, we do have some variety bands in there, but we wanted somebody with original music, whether you be solo, duo, or a band with your buddies. But it's really a great opportunity for you to show people of Albuquerque your music. Sure. I like the idea that um, it's sort of... Like you said, it's sort of an audition right. to see if the city would like to use any of the bands for various, or hire them for various events throughout the year. Yeah, but it's also like an all-day concert. It is. <laughs> yeah, and there'll be food trucks. I was just going to say, we've got to have well, food right. trucks at that one. Yes. And, <laughs> and that's on Civic Plaza, right? Correct. And again, what day is that? Um, this one is happening on May 13th. Okay, definitely mark that on your calendars, the... the uh, the local band showcase on Civic Plaza on May 13th. That's, that sounds like a great event. And again, an opportunity to hear some of our tremendous local talent that we have here. Right. Okay, now, we cannot talk about things to do in Albuquerque without mentioning Summerfest. That's right. been going on for years. And, and Summerfest has evolved with the times as well. We yes. have food trucks, <laughs> but we also, it's not just at Civic Plaza anymore. No, and you know, we use the local band showcase those bands to open up for our big headliners oh, for our Summerfest. Um, so our first Summerfest, 
along with um, accepting applications for that as well, okay. whether you want to be a food vendor or a market vendor. And this is all information, if I could interject, uh, that they can find on ABQ to do if they want to apply yes, to be a food vendor. Yes, we have the vendor. links. Okay. And then Perfect. it's kind of easier to go to culturalabq.com to find the application as well. Gotcha. But ABQ okay. to do does have the links. Good. To so those they can as well. start there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, our first summer fest will be happening at Heights Summer Fest. Um, this is, sorry. This is actually happening at North Domingo Baca Park, and this is the first summer fest. Okay. Um, this is June 10th, and we are excited to announce that the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones will be opening. Oh, wow. Headliner. That's great. And that's that's music that appeals to a wide range of ages, yes. so that'll be a lot of fun. And that's the that's called the Heights Summer Fest, and it's happening at North Domingo Baca. Cool. All right. Yeah. So you heard it here first. <laughs> yes, this is an exclusive. This is an exclusive. Right. That's right. And pretty soon it'll be on the website, of course. And that's, okay, so that's the Heights one. And then we've got the big Freedom Fourth, which is at Balloon Fiesta Park. Yes. Right. Okay. Tell this us. is at Balloon Fiesta Park. This is free happening July 4th. Celebrate America's birthday that's of right. independence. <laughs> um, and we are excited to have Clint back as oh, our um, nice. headliner as well. Great country star has been around for a long time and yes. very popular. And that particular Summerfest, um, Freedom Fourth, is not only free, but it's the largest fireworks show, I think, in the state. Yes, it is. Wow. And we're happy to have so many great artists come back every year and perform for us. Um, the big fireworks show is nice. great. And of course, there's gonna be food, <laughs> tons of activities. There's also a car show which we are excited about. Good. A great event to celebrate America's birthday. I think Albuquerque has the best car shows of anywhere around, <laughs> bar none. And then which one comes after that? Um, then we have Route 66 Summerfest, um, which is July 22nd, okay. and it's going to be in the Knob Hill area. And the headliner for that is Los Lobos. Oh, wow. Okay. Everybody's going to turn out for that yes. as well. That sounds great. And the Summerfest in Knob Hill is always a good time. I love how they set up the stage there near Gerard and close off the street. And yes. That'll be a real fun event. And that's July 22nd. Correct. Okay. And then how many more? There's two more after that, right? There is. Okay. Um, next is the Downtown Summerfest, which happens on Civic Plaza. And that one will be August 12th. And we're excited to announce that Dennis DeYoung, the music of Sticks, will be our headliner oh, for that nice. one. Okay, great. And that's August 12th, Civic Plaza, downtown. Lots of stuff always going on at Civic Plaza. <laughs> yes. Okay, and that's and then there's one more summer fest after that, right? Yes, and that's the West Side Summer Fest, which is August 26th. And that one happens on Cottonwood Corners. And our headliner for that one is Chubby Checker. Oh, my gosh. You guys so. have really gotten some great talent for these summer fests. All right, so time to twist on over at There you go. Cottonwood That's Corners. right. Twist away over at the Cottonwood Corners on August 26th. So the summer fest, gosh, that's one, two, three, four. That's quite a lineup. Awesome. And around the city, March, since we're heading into spring, we've been talking about spring break, definitely check out abqtodo.com. Um, but March is just a big event because, or a big month for events because the weather's starting to get warm up. People are starting to think about being outdoors more. Um, and there's also some great shows coming to other areas in the city. Yeah, if you have kind of bad allergies and you want to yeah. stay inside <laughs> and not go outside for events, Pulp Joy always has, they have a great lineup coming up um, of shows. And you, oh, have, you guys have that on the website as well? We do, yes. They're one of our partners. So we have all of their calendar on our website. Um, UNM Baseball is oh, yeah. back. Oh, yeah. um, the Gladiators, they're back for another football? season. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, a big event happening or coming up is the Southwest Chocolate and Coffee Fest, which Yum. brings tons of people. Who Everyone does not loves... like coffee and chocolate? Exactly. Even together. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that's just a big festival that everyone loves. And, you know, we talk about this being, abqtodo.com, being an incredible resource for people, not just residents of the city, but, or if you're looking for stuff for your kids to do, or to do as a family, or to do on weekends during the week, what have you. But it's also a tremendous resource for people who are visiting Albuquerque and for people who maybe just want to take a day trip from somewhere else in New Mexico. Yes, and that's our main goal is to appeal to not only the residents, but also the visitors coming looking for something to do. We have it on ABQ to do. We have a, we have a big state, so this is good. And it's not, and you're, you said you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, this is also kind of interactive in the way that it gives 
um, local talent opportunities to showcase what they do, yeah. whether they're selling th crafts or artisans or musicians. They can check out this website um, to find out things that they might be able to partake in to showcase what they do. Yeah, if you're looking to submit an event, you can head over to ABQ to do. It's absolutely free, and we would love to have your event on our website. Great. What are some of the other links that you, you said there are links on there, even if you don't have the information, information directly, you can link to things that people can find out. Yeah, when you look, um, when you open up one of the web pages on ABQ to do, you'll find the event and there's also a buy tickets link where you can buy the tickets. There's also hmm. links to um, the official website and all the other links. We have all the information there. We've made it easy for you to find all the information about the event. Kind of a one-stop shop if you're looking for anything going yes. on in Albuquerque. Have you had many people comment on it? What are, what are people saying about the website? Do they find it easy to navigate and to use? Yeah, well, now that we're on WordPress, it is easier yeah. to navigate, easier to get around. We have all the categories up at the top. If you're looking for just free events, we also have a category for that. Um, it's a really interactive website. You can share it straight to Facebook, straight to Twitter, anything all the events that you want to see, you can sh share it easily. So it's kind of intuitive as well. I think when people go on there, they're not going to be having to figure out. It's probably something that they can navigate easily to find that information. Yeah. So what do you think is going to be the future of ABQ to do? You're you're driving the ship here. Are you <laughs> you want to see? You want to expand it more? Are you going to try and make it more accessible, or do you think it's just great the way it is now? It's only going to get better, I imagine. Right. The only thing from here is to get more events. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Populated with more events, right? right. Um, we are. We don't just focus on Albuquerque, but the surrounding areas as well. So maybe getting some of the other cities around Albuquerque to add their events. Um, do people do that now? Because that's kind of that's a nice sharing of information. Yes, other communities put because there's lots of little as we were saying day trips to Albuquerque but also from Albuquerque people can find out about some of those other things if those communities or somebody shares that yeah right now on the website we do have some events from Socorro, Las Lunas, Rio Rancho and we're looking to also include some events some of the bigger events that happen in Santa Fe as well I see. Oh, yeah. We cannot forget our neighbors to the north, <laughs> Santa Fe, right? We have a train that connects us to get us there and back. And hey, easy. Yeah, easy access. And some cool things going on just to the south of Albuquerque and Valencia County as well. How How is it? Are you enjoying being part of this and doing this? I mean, obviously, you kind of came up through the ranks starting as an intern, so it must give you great a great sense of pride to be part of this Yeah, I endeavor. love it. Um, I'm sharing... It's kind of like a sentimental thing. Yeah. I'm sharing events and pr not only promoting the venues and the organizations that are hosting these events, but I'm also getting to share that with the people of Albuquerque and say, hey, if you are looking for a class, if you're looking to expand your knowledge on this or um, you're just looking to hear great music, I have it. I have the link. Right. Here it is. So it's a really great opportunity, and I'm, I'm lucky to be the face of ABQ to do. Absolutely. We're lucky to have you and we wouldn't often see the face of ABQ to do because <laughs> they'll see the the website. Right. But, you know, there's one thing about putting information out there so people um, understand it and it's quite another in doing it in a way that actually entices them to look at it and visit and and um, and explore and actually return to the site to find out. But this is a tremendous a tremendous resource for the people of Albuquerque and Ricky, we're so glad that you're you're doing it and I hope you'll come back on the show in a couple of months or sooner and talk about all the things that we have going on in the summer and fall. Yes, I would love to. Thank we'll blink you. our eyes and it'll be here before we know it, right? Right. <laughs> summer, where are you at? Right. <laughs> all right, everybody. Remember to go to abqtodo.com to find out everything and anything going on in Albuquerque, whether it's just for you, your family, or your friends, or even some visitors. We hope to see you there, abqtodo.com.